Welcome into Plant Parts by Greater Richmond Fit for Kids. This is an exercise the answer activity, so make sure you have some safe space to move in. Ready? Let's go. Before we get started, take a look at this plant here on the side, and let's look at the different parts. Up at the top, you'll notice that the arrow is pointing to one of those little brown ovals inside the top of the flower. That would be a little seed in there. Then you have the red part, which is the flower itself. Further down the flower, you've got the leaf um, holding everything up. There is the stem, and underneath the dirt, you'll find the roots. Each one of these is going to have a different movement to go along with it. Let's take a look and see what our first move is. Ah, sky reaches. Sky reaches are going to represent our seed. Go ahead and practice some sky reaches. Just like in the video there, you can see that your arms are going to go up and across your face. The next one down, you're going to bring your hands together over the top to create a flower that bends in the wind. Go ahead and try it out. You go to the left and then to the right. Then you'll go back to the left again. Next, we have the leaf. Since the leaves stick out to the side, we're going to do arm circles to represent those. Notice the arm circles are nice and small, and they're controlled. Try out some arm circles. Good. Nice job. Next, we have the stem. The stem is nice and tall, which is why we're going to do some heel raises for the stem. That's where you go up, up on your tiptoes and back down. Nice work. Finally, we have the roots, which are underneath the ground, so we're going to reach down to our toes and touch them. If you can't touch your toes, that's fine. Bend at the waist and try to touch your shin or your knee, whatever feels comfortable for you. Take one final look at all of our different moves, and then we'll get started trying to figure out what parts of the plant are on the screen. Which part is this? Take a look, that arrow is pointing to one of those little brown ovals. If it's the root, touch your toes. If you think it's the seed, sky reach. All right, I hope you are doing some sky reaches because that is the correct answer. That is pointing to a seed. Here's our next one pointing to either the stem or the seed. If you think it's the stem, heel raise. If you think it's the seed, sky reach. Oh, I hope you are heel raising. That is pointing straight to the stem. Excellent job. Now take a look at where the arrow is pointing. That's either the root or it's the seed. I hope you're doing some toe touches because that is pointing to the root. Ah, here's a bonus move. Let's try out some high knees. Notice your hands are out flat. You're going to bring your knees up to it. Let's see if we can count out 10 of them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Slide. Ooh, a different flower, but it's pointing to a part that you should know. It's either the leaf or the root. Go ahead and show your answer. You should be arm circling because that's pointing to a leaf. What about this part of the plant? Again, it's either the leaf or a flower. Leafs are arm circles, flowers are side bends. You should be bending to the side. That is pointing to the flower. What about this part of the plant? Is that the root or the stem? If it's the root, touch your toes. If it's the stem, heel raise. You should be heel raising. That's pointing right to the stem. Hey, look, another bonus move. These cross crawls go across to the opposite knee. Let's count out 10. Ready? One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, all right, take a look. Ooh, this one is either going to be the leaf, arm circle, or the stem, heel raise. This part moves water from the root to the leaf. So this moves water from the root to the leaf. I hope you're heel raising because that's the stem. Ooh, we have another picture. That's either pointing to the leaf or pointing to a seed. I hope your arm circling because that is the leaf. Excellent work. Ooh, now your choices are leaf or flower. It says this is bright and attracts bees and other insects to it. So what part of the plant is bright and attracts bees and other insects to it? I hope that you're doing side bends because that's the flower. Bees love flowers. Ooh, another bonus move. Now we're going to jog in place. Let's count to 10 while we do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, you're breaking a sweat now. This part of the plant keeps the plant in one place. Is that the leaf or the root? Go ahead and show your answer. The part that keeps the plant in one place is the root. It holds it nice and tight inside the soil. This part keeps the flower up straight. It's either the flower or the stem. What part keeps the flower up straight? Well, the stem, of course. I hope you're doing heel raises. This part makes energy for the rest of the plant. Either the leaf makes energy for the rest of the plant or the root makes energy for the rest of the plant. Go ahead and show your answer. I hope your arm circling because leaves make energy for the rest of the plant. Ah, great. It's time to stretch and cool down. We're going to do a back stretch where you reach out in front of you and bend forward a little bit. Once you do that, go ahead and hold. And then we're going to do a chest stretch. That's where you put your arms behind you, you grab your hand, and you stretch back, opening up your chest. Let's go ahead and do a back stretch one more time, stretching forward. And one more chest stretch. Grab those hands, pull those shoulders back, and stretch. Oh, excellent job working out today. I hope you learned something new about plants along the way. Have a great day.